So many women today suffer from the negative effects of low self-esteem. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the one thing that you can begin doing today to dramatically impact better self-esteem. Hi, I'm Maria Lapuma, the creator of the Body Confidence Solution, where I help health conscious women release excess weight, enjoy food freedom, and step into their lives with more confidence and esteem. And in today's video, I'm sharing the one thing that you can begin doing today to dramatically impact your self-esteem. So what is it? First off, I wanted to share that, you know, it's, it's sort of epidemic in our culture that women in general, more so than men, worry about how they look, they're stressing over not enough, they're feeling like their, their body is not good enough. And I know that's greatly impacted by social media and the problem of comparing ourselves to others. And all of that consciously and unconsciously starts to chip away at how we feel about ourselves. Not good enough, not worthy, there's something wrong with me. And the tendency to pick on ourselves can become part of that pro problem and continue to diminish how you feel about yourself. So in order to start to cultivate good self-esteem, you have to start to be aware and conscious of the things that you're saying to yourself. But the one thing that I have learned in my life that has made a big difference for me is to start to keep my promises to myself. So I know it sounds simple, but it's not always so easy. It's so easy to keep promises for some, to someone else, right? We say we're going to do something for someone, we show up. We say we're going to um, follow through with something for someone, and we follow through for them. And oftentimes, we don't show up for ourselves. We make a commitment to ourselves. We say, I'm going to do this. And then the next day, we say, oh, maybe tomorrow, maybe later. We don't step in and keep our promises to ourselves. So the one thing you can do today is to start to keep your promises to yourself. And it could be as simple as saying, okay, I'm going to get up at 6.30 tomorrow morning. When the alarm goes off, get up, rather than putting on the snooze and not keeping your promise. Because when you do that, when you are true to yourself and true to your promise, you start to feel like, uh, yeah, I can trust myself to keep my promises to myself. But the important piece of this is not to make such grandiose promises because then they become impossible to keep. So you want to start small. If you want to improve your health, maybe your lifestyle to be more in alignment with meeting your health and fitness goals, do not make a list of 20 things that you want to change by tomorrow and make those promises because they're not sustainable and it's not going to work out over time. I remember years ago, I'd be so devastated with myself, feeling so bad about myself, wanting to change everything, my eating habits, my exercise, the way I showed up. And I would make these lists of all of these things I was going to do. And maybe I could keep those promises for a day or two, but oftentimes they were just too, too many changes at once. They were too big and I ha was not there yet. So you want to take smaller steps to meet your goals. Making a small promise like getting up at the time that you committed to getting up and doing that over a week or two and celebrating your success. Yeah, I'm keeping my promise to myself. I'm getting up at 6.30 every morning. Maybe you want to spend 10 minutes meditating. Put that as your goal and then set the goal, one goal at a time when you're making changes and then make it manageable and make a commitment to set a timer for 10 minutes and sit and meditate for 10 minutes. And each time you do that, you pat yourself on the back, you celebrate yourself, you say, I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I'm worth it. And today I'm keeping my promises to myself. So what is it that you want to make change? Where do you want to make changes in your life? What is it that you want to improve in your life? And I would write down all of those things that you would like to, maybe you want to eat better. Maybe you want to drink more water. Maybe you want to have more movement. Again, choose one of those things 
and start to put that into your life in a reasonable place. And then as you act on that daily and celebrate those wins daily, you will start to feel like you can trust yourself. And that in turn is going to increase your self-esteem, how you feel about yourself. I keep my promises to myself. I am worth keeping my promises to myself because low self-esteem, it also comes up, you know, this feeling of unworthiness. I'm not worthwhile. But when we treat ourselves like we're not worthy and worthwhile, then we're reinforcing that feeling like I'm not enough. I'm not worth it. So you are worth it. You want to make yourself a priority. You want to keep your promises to yourself and you want to make those promises reasonable. Maybe pushing you yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. But if it's so dramatic and it's you know, impossible to maintain because we can make changes. We know that we can make changes. We know we can change the neural structure of our brain to make those changes and they can be sustainable over time. Repetition is the thing that will change, but putting in small habits, celebrating those habits, keeping your promises to yourself is the one thing that's going to impact your self-esteem in dramatic ways. Taking good care of yourself is a process and a practice. A lot of times we haven't been taught that we were a priority. So today begin treating yourself as if you are a priority because you are a priority and other people may see you that way, but you need to start becoming accountable for you and the way you treat yourself. So I hope that was helpful for you today. Tell me what you're going to do so that you can make a manageable goal, start to keep your promise to yourself. It might be setting the alarm. It might be increasing your water intake. It might be choosing to put more healthy, nourishing foods into your diet. Just pick one thing this week. Today, you can start and make it manageable, make yourself a priority, and commit to keeping your promise to yourself. And if you break your promise, just step up, pick yourself up, and start again. You can always start anew. So I'm looking forward to hearing how you're gonna take action on this today, because it's up to you to take action. It's up to you to make those steps. You can do it, I believe in you. It starts with the first step. And if it feels frightening or a little scary to change your patterns, you remember that you can do the hard things. You can do the scary things. If you are struggling with your relationship to food and emotional eating, I have a free ebook for you. It's called The Three Steps to Stop Emotional Eating. So sometimes we want to make healthier practices with our food, but we're caught in the grips of emotional eating. So if this is a problem for you, I want you to get that free ebook. I'm going to put the link below, three steps to stop emotional eating, and that will dramatically help you to stop emotional eating, sabotaging your best intentions, and be able to keep your promises to yourself. I look forward to hearing from you. If you like this video, please like it. If you know someone that can use this information today, please share it. And of course, subscribe to my channel if this, is con this content feels good and effective and helpful for you. Until next time, I look forward to hearing from you and um, take care. You are worth it. Bye now.